Now, if you've watched any of my videos recently, you might have noticed, it, noticed a distinct lack of Wayland. But if you remember, my whole attitude with Wayland is, it's more about future-proofing. It's more about the inevitable X11 apocalypse, but it's some years away. So in the meantime, I'm just letting the Wayland situation build up to where we have a desktop that we can use that has all that we need, mainly using the Sway window manager, the drop-in replacement for i3 on X11. And so this is just a steady build, okay? But today is a day when we return to Wayland. So all of you Wayland fans out there, all of you Sway fans, I don't know, are there any? I don't know if they're watching this channel, but nonetheless, it's good to future-proof our computers and Wayland is the future. I'm afraid to say for those of you who are disappointed that X may not last into the future. That's just how it is. Let's prepare. Be preppers for whatever. No, we're not preppers. We're just whatever. Anyway, I'm rambling now, of course. So uh, well, let's have a look at what we're looking at today. We're looking at the um, called Sway Lock. So this is like i3 lock like the name suggests and this is for locking your desktop session in sway self-explanatory however there's a few things we need to think about so let's just look at the screen so as i've already explained sway is the well the compositor for wayland uh it's designed to be fully compatible with i3 drop and replacement blah 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 now we obviously did our own config if you look at my previous videos um, but what we hadn't done are some of the extra additional um, things that are not drop-in replacements. So i3 lock is not a drop-in replacement for Sway lock and vice versa, if that makes sense. So even with X Wayland, which will in theory run X, uh, X11 programs in Sway in Wayland, some things are just not basically compatible. So we need some extra installs. So one of them I'm looking at today is Sway lock, okay? So let's have a look at the package. It is just called Swaylock. And um, so if you're an Arch, of course, make sure you are updating your packages of a system. So Ubuntu, whatever, Debian, it's apt, and whatever is Fedora. You surely know how to update your computer by now. So the next thing is we then need to install the package. So it's called Swaylock. Now, I've already installed it, of course, so I'm not reinstalling. Okay, and I'm in my virtual machine here. Okay, just to let you know. So, let's show Sway Lock in action. So, let's load up Sway. Okay, and if you remember with like i3 lock, it is the name of the program. So, Sway Lock. Okay, and as you can see, it gives this sort of gray screen and like i3 lock it will show up a a feedback so if i start putting in my password as you can see there we go um, if i do it again and i do it wrong wrong okay so do it again and there you go and gives you a little bit of output where it's authenticated has failed okay so what else is there to look at really? Well, it's the same problem we have with i3 lock, namely that the potential for your uh, security and your system being accessed even with sway lock. So I will demonstrate for those of you who do not remember what happened with i3 lock and we'll have a solution as well. Much similar to i3 lock, slightly different, but much similar. Okay. So I'm going to put in sway lock again and obviously I'm in a virtual machine. My key mapping means I have to use this drop down box, but control alt F2 if you did it on your computer would drop into into TTY2, for example, OK, or whatever TT, TTY is not using sway or um, graphical environment. So you're probably thinking, well, you still have to log in. OK, good point. So let's log in. Okay. Now I'm going to go back to TTY1. Now, imagine that you have, say, auto login on some of your TTYs. I do this, and maybe 
you know, you have something that needs your TTY to be open. The point is, your system is not technically secure because you can access other consoles. It's not locking down your system. The Linux console is still available. We will rectify this, but so remind to remember what I'm talking about. So if I do F2, look, I have complete access to the system. Well, you know, obviously not including pseudo privilege, but I can, I can do stuff. And if I have, you know, if it has pseudo privilege pre-existing, I can do stuff on the system. So, how do we fix this? Well, this is what we're going to do. Let's get back into this. Okay. So um, I'm going to go back here, and uh, I've actually had this comment who. Uh, regularly comments on the channel, Mr. Reigns. Thank you, Mr. Reigns. Uh, you've come up with some really good stuff regarding iFreeLock and uh, including SwayLock. And he says that you can set config options like this, and you can even use something called Sway MSG, like Sway Message, to manually um, put a session on your Sway session, let's say. Uh, a server key lock. So if you're not sure what I'm talking about, look at my um, uh, session lock revisited video. This is regarding i3 and that will tell you all you need to know, but I'm going to demonstrate for Sway today. Okay. So the first one we can do is let's um, do, do it in reverse. We'll do the Sway message. Okay. So Sway message. What is Sway message? MSG. Oh, let's make this a bit bigger. Make this a bit bigger. Man sway msg. Send message to a running instance of sway over the IPC socket. Okay, does that make sense? You can look up the full documentation if you want, if you want to know what everything it does. But we are just going to, for today, in the scope of this video, demonstrate this. So we need to put in the command. So it's sway, let's make this a bit bigger. MSG. And then we need to put quotations. Another thing I need to do, sort out American style keyboard to GB on Sway. It will never end the configuration. Okay. XKB. And what else we got? Options. And then server keys, I believe that's short for. And then none. And then close that out with a quotation. Hit enter. No literal output, but that's not a bad sign. So let's try it again. So remember, if I do sway lock, as you can see, it's locked. But if I do F2, F3, F4, nothing happens. So that's literally locked down sway, it, the server keys, or the whatever the keys you want to call the FN control, F1, 2, 3, 4 keys. Um, cannot be used. Okay, this is important. So put in your password if you want to unlock the console. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pkill i3 uh, sway. I'm going to end that session and I'm going to start sway up again and we're going to do the configuration one. Okay, so if we remember, um, if I do F2, I can access F2. Okay, so the server, sir, SV, uh, SVR, VKey, whatever they're called, are still accessible because uh, Sway message is just for that session, as explained by Mr. Reigns. So what we need to do is now put in the config. Now I'm not going to type it out all again for the config. I already did this, so but I've got it commented out. So let's see what this looks like. So go into your dot uh, config Sway, okay, and then vim config. So if you look here uh, at the top, I've got this uh, commented out and it's input really the same with Sway MSG, but without the quotations. OK, so now I've uncommented that. Let's right quit. And uh, I believe that should work straight away. Let's just P kill Sway. Start it up again. OK, so let's do Sway lock. And let's try F2. So as you see, it works. Okay, so that's how you install Sway Lock and run Sway Lock and secure the Linux console in Sway by putting in those options, whether in config or in your session, 
do the config one because it just makes sense. It just makes sense to do. Just good practice, let's say. So um, thank you again, Mr. Rains. Um, really appreciate that knowledge there. And now we've demonstrated it in Wayland in Sway. So the Sway build continues, the Wayland build continues. We're getting ready for the X11 apocalypse in 10 or so years or whenever it is. And uh, it's a work in progress and there will be more Wayland stuff in the future. Just watch my videos, get prepared, okay? Just be ready for it. Okay, so we will leave it there. So you're not to do with the usual like, comment and subscribe. Um, and I want to give special thanks to Sean and HTX80 Nerd and uh, a new member, uh, Soul947. Thank you very much for taking out membership. So we're, ex we're increasing here. Hope to see more of you on the end screen. Hope to have lots of you showing off your support of this channel. But I appreciate all your support anyway. Thank you very much to everyone. And um, I think we'll leave it there and I'll see you in the next one.